So the week before we're doing adaptation, like I said, hopefully you've all noted down the main thing that you should be adapting for your essays. It is the introduction and the topic sentences. Just create word, uh, well, I was gonna say create new word documents, but also you, you wanna practice this in a handwritten way because it's a written exam. So once you have your core essay, once you have that memorized, but what you then wanna do is just write out intros and topic sentences to as many different types of questions as you can find. Okay, now going back more than a week before trials, so that is sooner, uh, that is sooner than later, you want to make sure you're actually memorizing those essays. And when you memorize them, you want to make sure that you're also practicing the adaptation at the same time. So what I mean by that is, say you've perfected your common module essay, you've perfected your common mod essay, you're happy with it, you can start memorizing it. Well, first of all, you'll see in the weeks before that you should have already timed it. Never memorize an essay that's too long. Assume you're at that 32 minute mark. That's what we want our essays to be generally. Once you've fully memorized it, before you move on to memorizing the next essay, so once you've done one of the essays or maybe it's your craft of writing composition, once you've memorized that, go and practice three questions, three new questions, practice doing the intros and topic sentences at least, and probably I would do one full adaptation there. So notice that's in addition to the week before the before your exams. The week before your exams, you're doing heaps of intros and topic sentences and some full essays to practice. But in the weeks prior, I'm saying after you've just finished memorizing, make sure you quickly practice the adapt, adapt, adaptation process to at least three new questions before you move on to memorizing the next response. You might have the question, how do I actually memorize? Well, the way I do it, and I have videos on YouTube about this, if you just type in, you know, how to memorize an essay, you'll probably find it. But basically I do it like a speech. So I print out a document that has my final essay there. Once I'm happy with that, I will start reciting it like a speech. And what I do is I say each line, one, one line at a time, start with the introduction and I will read it off the page and then I'll say it out loud. And until I can say it out loud without looking back at the page, uh, I won't move on to the next sentence. Okay. So it's basically like look, cover, write, check. If you all remember that kind of primary school learning technique, that's the same one I would use. So you print out the essay, you do paragraph by paragraph, sentence by sentence. And what you do is you read the first sentence, put the page down, don't look, say it out loud to yourself. And if you make a mistake, look back at the page figure out where you made the mistake, make sure you take note of that mentally, and then try and do the full sentence again. And when you finally get that full sentence correct, you can then move on to trying to say the next sentence out loud. Once you can say the second sentence out loud perfectly without looking at the paper, then you say both sentences together. So you don't just keep doing one sentence, then the next, then the next. As soon as you can say the next sentence, you say everything all together so that you're constantly going back over the previous ones. Once you can say the full introduction out loud without looking, so you basically memorize the full intro, what you then want to do is write it out. So you kind of cement, you cement the knowledge there by writing it out at the end. So you do it like a speech, you're speaking it out, speaking it out, then you write it down once you can do the full paragraph and you repeat that for every paragraph of your essay. Now, why do I say do it like a speech? Because it's way more efficient. It's way faster. If you're just reading it and speaking it, you're going to be about eight times faster at the process. Now, people say, oh, well, you do remember things better when you write them down. That's true. That's why I still incorporate the written element there. After, you've after you can say the full paragraph out loud, I still write it out to kind of cement it in there because writing is a very effective way of remembering things. Mm -hmm.